Hello everyone, and <clears throat> welcome back to another part of Persona 3 Portable. Um, it's been like another day, um, but you know, stuff happens, so in any case, I'm here. I went to Tartarus um, just before starting the stream. Not stream, damn it recording um so yeah we saved the people that were in Tartarus and now it's the next day there will be a full moon tonight a powerful shadow may appear you decide to stay home today and conserve your strength Everyone, including Yakutsuki, is here. Aikis is sitting on the end of the sofa, ready for her first full moon battle. Well, it's a full moon once again. Any luck, Yamagishi? Yes, I've located it. And this time, it's not just an ordinary one. Now that's more like it. It's by the deserted houses in the northern part of Iwatodai. But there is one thing that's strange. It seems like it's underground. Almost 10 meters. It must be in some kind of basement. According to my records, there is no structure in the area that matches those criteria. However, in the past, there was an underground facility that was used by the military. The military? Is that true? Well, the architectural and geographic data for the area were uploaded into her memory bank. Then again, the information hasn't been updated in a decade. That is correct. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be a good idea? So, uh, how should we interpret this? There's no way of knowing without actually going there. It seems war scars may be deeper than we think. The situation is still unclear at this time. Therefore, we will wait until we arrive to determine who should be deployed. Agreed. Understood. Let's go for it, guys. <laughs> Dependable as ever. Then let's go. Iwatodai Northern Harbor, underground facility entrance. Fuka's guidance led you here. The target should be around here. Well done. Who are these guys? Lucia didn't sense a thing till now. Before you realize it, two figures are standing behind you. This is the first time we've met in person. My name is Takaya. This is Jin. We are known to some as Strega. We've been keeping an eye on you. From what we hear, you've undertaken a righteous battle to save the world. But we've come here tonight to put an end to that dream. What? You've gained new allies. Yet this land still crawls with sin. Tartarus is towering as beautifully as always. You know about Tartarus? You know? But why the hell would you want to stop us? Simple. If the shadows in the dark hour disappear, then so will our power. And we can't let that happen now, can we? Power? Don't tell me your Persona users as well. Why don't you use that pretty little head of yours for a change? Only a select few wield the power of a persona. And the Dark Hour is a frontier that is ours alone to explore. Just like the Tower of Demise. That's your reason? Are you crazy? There's no telling what will happen if we don't do something about the shadows. What difference does it make? There will always be disaster. Whether they are caused by shadows or arise from human folly. No one can predict the future anyway. But that is all beside the point. Surely you will acknowledge the sense of significance the Dark Hour has given you. Not at all. Is it not so? How about the rest of you? Do you also wish to return to your pathetic, ordinary lives? Huh? 
You think I like this? I don't enjoy this one single bit. You've each got your own reason for fighting. Justice is only an excuse. And that makes you all hypocrites. So I say to hell with you. <sighs> the Patristan is closing. Have fun in there. The two left right before the partition closed. Damn it! They locked us in. We will be all right. Rather than wasting our energy, I suggest we deal with the shadow first. You're right. If we lose our cool, then they win. The shadow's moving. I think it's noticed us. All right. Let's concentrate on our original goal. We can look for a way out after we've won. Everyone, prepare for battle. This facility is abandoned. I do not sense any living creatures. Roger that. At the moment, we can't do anything about being trapped. Let's defeat the shadow first. Alright, let's go. It's creepy here. Okay, let's go. Since the target two blocks ahead of you, it's moving slowly downward. Chase after it. Whoa, this place seems to have been some kind of weapons depot. I've seen so many weapons before. All to set, all designed to kill. But I guess that's the reality of war. Hard to believe at a time like that actually existed. The target is gaining speed. It's continuing down the tunnel. Chase after it. The target is spotted. It's waiting for in the next area. Please, be careful. There are three enemies. Be careful. Persona! Strike first! I'm worried that it's gonna crash and I'm gonna have to take the recording again. <laughs> and that's just not fun. The target is up ahead. Are you ready? Underground facility, deepest area. This explains the tread marks. 
It's using the tank as armor. Get ready, everyone. Here it comes. Its arcana is justice. Wait, its chariot? What the? Why am I sensing two entities? It doesn't make sense. I summon you! different types. One's chariot and the other's justice. They seem to be coordinating their attacks too. Please, be careful. Yes? This is Mitsuru. We've neutralized the target. Good work. You may return. Wait, there's more. Our mission was interrupted by an uninvited guest. He's most likely a Persona user. A Persona user? And he wasn't alone. They appeared quietly during the dark hour and seemed to be aware of our activities. Hmm. Did they say anything that might give us a clue? Come to think of it, they said they're called Strega. Strega? I'll see what I can find out. Thank you. I have one final thing to report. I regret to inform you that we fell right into Strega's trap, and now we're locked inside here. Ah, I see. Since the threat has been eliminated, I'll send someone over as soon as I can. I'm sorry. We'll be waiting. Other Persona users, huh? Hmm. An unexpected enemy has emerged. They seem to be Persona users as well. In any case, you succeeded in defeating the Shadow this month, too. You expect that there will be a fewer victims for a while. You are exhausted, so you're eager to get some rest. Summer vacation continues.
you sense someone's presence. Hi, how are you? I remembered something else. The end won't be brought about by anyone in particular. It's coming because there are many people who wish for it. As if it was destined from the start. But doesn't that seem like a strange thing to wish for? I sure don't want it. I see. So you don't want it. Well, enough about that for now. There's something else I wanted to tell you today. Soon, the poisonous flowers will bloom. One in your own garden, and three in the garden opposite yours. I don't know whether or not this has anything to do with the end, but you should be careful. But I don't have a garden. Really? It seems to me that you're surrounded by colorful flowers, even now. I'll come again if I find out anything useful. That's what friends are for, right? Veros gives you a carefree smile. And you felt a bond with Veros. Well then, good night, my dearest. Veros disappeared. Hello, this is Theodore. I sense intense power deep within Tartarus. It seems a path that was blocked is now open. Please be careful. Have a nice day. It's me. I'm sorry to bother you while you're resting, but can I have a word with you? Coming. Good morning. There's something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. Come to the fourth floor meeting room when you get home tonight, okay? I'll see you then. Mitsuru seems to have left. Does this mean we have a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. Huh? Koro-chan? <laughs> Koromaru is setting at Mitsuru's side. Are you okay? Where'd you get this collar? That collar is designed to help control his persona. In other words, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean he'll be going into battle? It was a surprise for me as well. But according to the tests, it's quite possible. In fact, it was the chairman's suggestion. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Is that okay with you, Koro-chan? <laughs> he said, I'll return the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Welcome aboard, Koro-chan. <laughs> hey, make yourself at home. The residential but The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. It's summer break after all. Yes, it is. Enjoy your vacation while you can. Summer classes start next week. I also don't think I use the word in the context I think it means. I'll see to it that you graduate. Hey, good one, senpai. You almost had me there. Oh, it's no joke. We'll be taking intensive courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been balancing school and our late night excursions. You haven't had much time to study. I apologize for that. That's why the chairman agrees that this is a good idea. I thought I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? This is the first I've heard of it. Um, sorry. I forgot to mention it. Aw, oh, man. Hey, with your grades, you should be thanking her. Yeah, right. Mm, this sucks. Look 
looking forward to it. Well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's make the most of it. At any rate, you have gained a new ally. Kurumaro, though only a dog, he is a trustworthy partner that will fight valiantly for his master. You must make sure to support him as well as the team leader. Support him well as a team leader. Okay. schoolboy the other day. I tried questioning him, but his answers didn't make any sense. Said some kids saved him from an attack by a black thing. You have to reward for this, so I'll hand it over to you. I don't have that much. You should be able to find what you need. Got some new things there. Take a look. I'm about to do something silly. Just because I've never done it before.
Should be able to get that soon. Oh wow. Well. No, you're okay. Good. Never mind. Don't forget that you're a student and study. Students are supposed to study. Use this time to increase your academics. Just like in sports, no matter how strong you are, if you don't study your opponent, you can't win. It's the same with school. If you don't study, you can't pass your test. Summer school, huh? Well, it's not that I don't like to study. I just don't think we should have to study during the summer vacation. Dude, this sucks. Summer school is so lame. Don't you agree? I can't wait to study. What? You're messed up, man. summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Your academics has greatly increased. It's the second day of summer school. I know it's hot, everyone. Let's try and get through this class. Focus, focus. You must all be very curious. to needs to be taking a course over the summer. I'm not really sure what to make of that. <laughs> well, let's talk about something interesting today. All your future magicians will want to pay close attention. <laughs> Today's subject is tarot. That's right. Those cards often used in fortune telling, originating in the 15th century Europe, is normal playing cards. Tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. A variety of different versions of the hero card decks exist, including the Marcel and Ryder decks. But today, in respect of the great magician Crowley, we will be using the Tarot deck. First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78-card Tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or number cards. Minor arcana are also sometimes called pips. The major arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces, beginning with the fool and ending with the world. They tell a story in numerical order that is a metaphor of an individual's journey through life. Each 
major arcana represents a stage of that journey. An experience that the individual must incorporate to realize his oneness. They are all important, so let's take a look at each of the 22 tarot cards one by one. The first card, numbered zero, the Fool, represents the beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. The next card, the Magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. The Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents motherhood and the life it brings forth. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fathering and relates to leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge. It stands for religion. The Lover's card represents choice. Here, the individual's consciousness has finally surfaced. The Chariot represents victory for the individual, but only a momentarily. Justice represents the knowledge of what's right and what's wrong. Hermit represents the individual's search for answers by looking inward, deep inside his heart. Fortune represents fate and his opportunities that hit and the opportunities that come with us. Strength represents both passion and self-control. It is depicted as power with reason. The hangman reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual dwell death awaits the individual with the 13th guard, which is aptly named Death. Death is considered a transitional card. The old ends and the new begins. Now, let's continue along with the path, following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites. Opening his eyes to the world allows the individual to grow. As the devil represents, he then faces temptation. At the tower, his values collapse on him. It seems as if he no longer has anything to believe in, but he then finds the glimmer of hope represented by the star, and he is sufficed, sufficed with a serene calm, the bliss that makes him vulnerable to the emotions of the moon. Fears arise as follows the dim path his heart with trepidation, but he is rewarded with a bright future represented by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the end of his journey, as he looks back on the path he's traveled. The final card is the world, which represents the individual's full awareness of his place in the world. That is the growth of an individual, as explained by the tarot card. It's all about life, doesn't it, home? A few young folks just yet. Yeah, you know? <laughs> now you can use all the 78 cards to divine the future in detail. But most people only use 22 major arcana. Okay, next let's talk about how to tell fortunes using the major arcana. First, you'll need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, I mean, its meaning will change, so it's important. Class continues. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. The third day of summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Let's begin. Yod hi vavi. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Hair is white. How are you all handling the heat? I could brew you up some of my special tea if you'd like. <laughs> now, let's continue with our special summer study. The truth behind magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. I assume all of you have at least heard of Kabbalah, yes? It's known as the mystery, mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures, but 
As I have mentioned before, there's a great impact on Western sorcery. It has been said that, that to learn the secrets of magic, first you must truly understand Kabbalah. So, who is the person who formed this incredible ideology known as Kabbalah? Well, according to legend, it was Mo Moses. Yes, that Moses. Moses who gave us the Ten Commandments and split the Red Sea. But in reality, it was formulated by a group of great rabbis long, long ago. However, because it consists of such a complicated coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now, it's important to know that there are many different ancient methods of deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there is the Germant Germatria. I don't know if I said that right. The interpretation of text by replacing letters with the numbers they represent. There is no trick on where you can take a letter from each of the word from another sentence or thought. There's also Tamura, a method where letters and words are replaced, thereby giving the sentence a new meaning. All these difficult methods make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. Now, one of the most important ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, formed of the Ten Sephirot. Most illustrations depict it as a chart shaped like a tree. The ten stages represented by the Sephirot, and the twenty-two paths connecting them represents the stages of creation God formed from his own self, as well as his direction in which humanity should evolve. Where did we come from? Where are we going? These answers lie in Sephirot. When training your magic, it's important to picture Sephiroth every so often. Even whenever you're meditating, you should focus on Sephiroth as well. In life as a test, the Sephiroth would be the basic questions. All aspiring musicians should know them. So, if you're looking for inspiration, try your hand on Sephiroth. <laughs> By the way, did you all notice that I said that there were 22 paths? <laughs> yes, that's right. The same number as the major arcana I spoke about earlier. <laughs> now continuing on, according to the Sephiroth, the world is broken up into four stages. The class continues, despite the heat electric continues. Oh, before I forget, I'll be giving supplementary lessons at the nurse's office starting in the second term. I'm thinking of doing demonstrations using tarot cards, but I won't have time during the lecture, so... If you're interested, stop by after school. Everyone is welcome. Seems he's gotten quite attached to you. 
50 cents of hate bond from the card in hand. Think of it, there is a summer festival going on at Naganaki Shrine. Hey, Spooky, it's me. There's a summer festival at Naganaki Shrine today. You got nothing better to do. Want to go with me? No, thanks. Oh, all right. Oh, well. See ya. Hey Spooky, it's Yukari. Do you know there's a summer festival at Nagaranaki Shrine today? I'm gonna ask Kuka if she wants to get, go too. If she does, you wanna come with us? Fine. I'm just gonna go check on Theodore. Shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Wow, the crowd's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Are you getting as excited as I am? Kind of the opposite. Yeah, I feel the same way. Sh should we all hold hands? Ow, I tripped. I'll never get used to wearing katas. Oh man, talk about a coincidence. I'm surprised everyone showed up wearing katas. You look great in your spooky. Makes you look really Japanese. I better not spill any food on it though. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't we all get some takoyaki? It smells so good. Oh, good idea. It'll just be uh, just don't be enough for the three hours. Excuse me, I'd like one package. Thanks, coming right off. Trio of cute ladies like you. Next. Be careful not to fall on any scummy guys out there. Gotcha. Look at the cut taco in there. Mm. Hot. Mm -hmm. So hot. Luca's lips are quivering. That's what you get for not letting it cool off a bit. I'm not too there, too spooky. Part of the fun is eating it when it's so hot. We walked around the different shops together. Hey, look, they have masks. The hero ones are in Are a must of places like this. Oh, they have dog masks too. <laughs> Doesn't it look like Coral Chan? Maybe I should buy it. Hey there, ladies. Would you like to play a lucky dog? All you do is pick a ball. It's easy, and everyone's a winner. Really? Everyone's a winner? Maybe we should give it a try. You suck your hand inside the big box so that the game attendant can hold it. The box is filled with individually numbered balls. You quickly pulled at the first ball you grabbed. Whoa! Congratulations! Man, you've got some luck when something at you. Ooh, miss. Here's your prize. It's kaleidoscope. Wow, lucky you. I got a water balloon. Yukari-chan got a rainbow card. It's true that everyone wins, but... The sky is covered in darkness. Ah, uh, we've seen all the shops. I hate shaved ice playing shoot targets. I think I missed anything. Mmm, that was fun. I can't believe we just got summer's play yesterday. Well, let's come to something like this again. You decided to go back to the door.
my want for maxing out my knowledge is great. Hello, this is Rio. If you're bored today, want to go to the movies? They're having a film festival there right now. I heard they're running horror flicks all day today. Doesn't that sound awesome? Really? Great. I'll see you there. Even though I maxed out the social link, I'm still gonna do it anyway. Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today they're showing horror movies. There you are. Jeez, you're late. Let's go grab some seats. more courageous after watching heroes in the movie survive. Your courage has greatly increased. <sighs> that was tiring. I'm aching all over. Watching three movies in a row was a little much. I wonder how many times the earth got over on Not fun to watch, though. And everyone was happy in the end, too. Well, I must go home. After saying goodbye to Rio, he decided to go back to the club. Welcome back. We have less than two weeks until school resumes. Fighting the shadows is our priority, but you should still study some during this time. Karmar is sitting calmly. It seems he doesn't want to go out for a walk tonight. <laughs> this is awesome. He wouldn't need it. <laughs> that cracks me up. I overcooked my meal the other day. I didn't want to throw it away, so I gave it to Koromaru. But he wouldn't need it. That bummed me out. I mean, I knew I burned it, but I didn't think it was that bad. Need it, huh? Good morning. This is Theodore. There's a human, one of them, I think. Wandering around Tyrus. Please carry out a search and rescue. Goodbye now. The call ended. Okay, I have priorities. Time to go on a date. Thank you very much. Well then, please lead the way. Not the so this is a shrine. I see. I'm sensing mysterious presences here. They're different from the shadows. See? There's one behind you. Behind you? Please don't glare at me so. I was only joking. Now then, the first order of business is to worship at the shrine, correct? Do you know how? Uh, of course I do. No, you don't. First, I put the coins in this wooden box. You pulled out a wallet while saying so. You began dumping such a large quantity of coins that the offering box is starting to is straining to hold them. After which, I must immediately swing the rope. <laughs> Lastly, I call out my wish. Uh, um, hmm. This isn't good. 
I'm drawing a blank on what to wish for, but it would be improper not to call out a wish. Huh? Ah, of course. I'll wish for your safety. You began praying enthusiastically. I wish that my dear friend remains. Um. W would you perhaps mind not listening? It's odd, I admit, but for some reason I don't feel comfortable knowing that you're listening. Theo is mumbling. Theo seems to be concluded with his ritual by whispering his wish. Everything will be all right now. You'll be protected for all eternity. Do you intend to pray for anything? someday to meet these friends who support you so wholeheartedly. You put your hands together and pray. It isn't mandatory to call out one's wish? Well, if that's so, then why didn't you... Well, never mind. Excuse me. I've been wondering since our arrival, but the structures over here, could these be... Theo is gazing at the park built near the track. Steel? Titanium? Wood? Is this... a house? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You play with them. You... play with them? <sighs> play? Uh, how does it work? Theo's eyes are glistening. Theo squatted under the side for some reason. It, is it like this? And like this? Theo eagerly stood on top of the horizontal bar. It's well, quite difficult to maintain one's balance on these. They're not for that. Theo jumped off the horizontal bar without a word. It, it can be used this way too, if one likes. God damn it, you're so stupid and I love you. <laughs> Though it may be a little bit difficult for you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You spent an invigorating afternoon with you. Thank you for a fulfilling afternoon today as well. Hmm. I must let you go home soon, but, hmm, I wonder what this is. I don't understand either. Hmm, let us return. Ah, we're approaching the stairs. Please mind your step. You return to the puppet room, Thea. <laughs> Thank you for answering my request. Well then. Thank you for showing me around Naganaki Shrine. The balance of spiritual and physical health present there is something I will have to reflect on later. As it happens, I've asked for my master about implanting, implementing a set of horizontal bars here. I argued that we would serve in, in maintaining one's physical condition, but he refused immediately. Ah yes, I have a very special reward for you. With this, you can fuse thought. He comes in the form of a beast, yet possesses knowledge beyond that of any human. Try him out and see for yourself the wisdom it may grant you. I'd like it if you can walk, if I could walk with you, you again in your world someday. Please take this as your reward. the well not the demon but another demon oh 
think there's any other place I can really go to improve my knowledge on this earth. Back to my room, I don't know. I forget. Who would tell guys strip them all? Poor misused books. An old man and woman are behind the counter. Welcome to Book Wars. How many guests? Smoking or non smoking? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, but I, I see that leaf in your hand. The old man is interested in the percentage. Would you like to show it to him? Oh, this is a leaf from that persimmon tree. It must have grown quite a bit to produce such splendid leaves. Wait, so you didn't come here to buy books? Did you come here to just to show us this? Yes, I did. I knew it. I knew right from the start that you were a kind of young lady. The old man is showering with you. Showering you with me. I've been meaning to see that, go see that tree for a while now. But I'm not sure if these stumpy old legs will make it that far. That wasn't meant to be a pun. <laughs> you know, stumpy tree stump. Get my drift. Very clever, dear. Allow me to introduce... Oh, goodness. Allow me to introduce my wife, Mitsuko. I'm Bukichi. If you don't mind... Would you tell us your name? So, your name is Spooky. Well then, I'll, we'll call you Spooky Chan from now on. Mankichi and Mitsuko seem happy that you told them about the persimmon tree. You got to know the old couple a little better. Every day except Monday. Come visit us if you're bored. After saying goodbye to Binkichi and Mitsuko, you decided to go back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Damn, it's hot. I'm sweating like a pig. It's all in your head. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Of course, there are limits to that theory. Uh. Karma seems to spirit it. Oh, oh my gosh. Yukari, stop leaving me off the stuff. Man, it's scorching hot out here. Junpei opened his cell. Shoot, it's already the 20th. Summer break's almost over. To those of you watching now that remember having a cell phone that you had to open. Yeah. Yeah. Those are old. I mean, not as old as the ones that you had to, like, carry on, like, the big, giant, bulky ones, and those are the older, but still. Too bad there's nothing to do. You know, you'd think with special powers, the world wouldn't be so boring. Hmm? Is that girl drawing something? Is she some kind of caricature artist? Nah, couldn't be. There's no one around her. What the heck is she drawing, then? There's nothing here to draw. Junpei walked near the girl. Get out of my way. I can't see. Move. Uh, sorry. 
man. I wish I could see what she's drawing. Jihei took a peek at the girl's drawing from afar. The page is filled with red and black. It looks like nothing in the surroundings, but it might be something as it might be an abstract piece. What do you want? Uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, what's with that outfit? And what the hell is she drawing? Man, I'll never understand art. Oh well. I've heard there's an event underway in your world called a film festival. I'd be intrigued to see this for myself. Do you have any interest in accompanying me? Thank you very much. I shall see you at the appointed time then. You've decided to go out to the movies with the elf. Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because the movie there marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today they're showing tear jerkers. What are tear jerkers? I feel that I'll learn something new if I'm looking forward to this. I probably read that wrong. You've learned some romantic one liners from the movie. Your charm has greatly increased. There's much about that I didn't understand. Most of it, in truth. However, for some reason, it pained me inside. I did not understand the implications behind this. Something to keep my mind occupied for a while, but anyway. Thank you very much for today. Please allow me to escort you back. Ten days left of summer break. You really look bored, Junpei. No, what's wrong with that? It takes a lot of maturity to fully appreciate boredom. Yeah, you you're real mature. But look who's talking, Yukadan. You're the one who's afraid of ghosts. Just shut up, stupid. Chroma is sitting calm. It seems he doesn't want to go for a walk today. Karamara-san's personality, agility, increased in a rapid pace. This is most likely because of Karamara-san is fast himself. Taking him for a walk can be quite tiring. become a genius. I'm not going to end this video until I become a genius. I've made that my goal. Meanwhile, at the Iwatoda strip mall. Damn it, I'm tired of your nagging. I'm sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. Well, the answer's still the same. I'm not coming back. You know, another new Persona user joined us. And he's not human. What? It's a dog. He lost his master six months ago because of the shadows. He's incredibly loyal. 
Up till now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed, despite the bad memories. At that moment, Kim came out of the nearby store. Huh? Oh, it's Sonata-san. Huh? Who's he talking to? Guess it'd be rude to butt in. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. But it's been two years since then. How long do you plan to beat yourself up over it? You're always at that spot behind the station, even though you don't hang out with the crowd there. It doesn't matter. It was my fault, and it can't be erased. What difference does it make if I come to terms with it? It won't change anything. This isn't the same as what happened to Miki. Shinji. That's enough already. I just want to forget it ever happened. So yeah, as I was saying um, at the beginning of this uh, like playthrough, I had mentioned that it takes a really long time to max out a staff. And in this game, oh my god, it feels like it takes forever. There we go. Even using like most of Summer Vacation too. Your room. It's me. I apologize for the interruption, but do you have a moment? Coming. Good morning. The chairman will be here tonight. We'll meet on the fourth floor as usual. That's all. She seems to have left. <laughs> And fast travel to my bed while I'm in my room. That's definitely something that's uh, super important. Formatting is tricky. I'll have to do some research. Mitsuru seems busy. She's not available to go to movies. I promised myself I'd do my homework first thing, but my room was too hot to study, so I came out here. My friends are coming by later to compare notes, so I have to finish, but... Ugh. Yukari seems busy. She's not in the mood to go to movies. Change my workout plan. You should keep me out of boredom for a while. Let's see. Going to the new plan, I have to. Akiko seems busy. He's not enough to go to the There is a meeting tonight. I will relax until then. Do you have any suggestions on how to relax with myself? I guess doesn't seem to be busy. Would you like to invite Agus to the film festival? The movies? I see. So going out is considered to be relaxing too. 
then let's go and relax. Ninja War. Does this refer, refer to the opposing platoons of ninjas on the screen? According to Junpei-san, ninjas are the coolest of the cool. He saw the history of ninjas and learned about their mind-bending fighting techniques. Your academics is greatly increased. Wow, that's so helpful. Oh boy. I have updated my information on the ninjas. Ninja is the ultimate status that a man can achieve. In combat, the power of their body is equivalent to that of highly advanced special weapons. They were war machines with unparalleled fighting skill. Given these facts, I am curious as to why their existence has ceased. Was it an ice age? Perhaps the prof I'm gonna skip that word. Of the internet? An enigma I may never resolve. Thank you very much for today. I shall call you Spooky Ninja from now on. That was a humorous joke. I decided to go back to the dorm with I guess. Dormitory commander. Everyone, including Ikutsuki, is here. Good, you're all here. Please come in. Ikutsuki caught someone outside the door. Sorry to interrupt. You must be kidding. After running several tests, we've learned that he has more than adequate potential. I called this meeting so that I could introduce him, since he'll be joining our squad. But, but, Mr. Chairman, he's still in elementary school. Besides... Besides what? His ability is quite promising. With the proper training, he could be a big help. But is he okay with it? Actually, I asked to join. I believe I can be of some assistance. Now, I finally know why I was given this power. So, as you can see, it was his own decision. Nice to meet you all. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. It may be hard at times, but stick with it. Yes, got it. Get him the new ally has joined. Kinemata. He seems to be very level-headed for an elementary school student. As a team leader, you must take care to support him well. Kuramara is tilting his head to the side. Seems he doesn't want to go for a walk tonight. He is very decisive. I believe he would be a great addition to Seas. His age worries me, though. You will need to keep a very close eye on him. I think I'm going to finish up the rest of the uh, vacation in this episode. He's a pretty amazing kid. Even a Kutsuki son thinks so. He's young, but he thinks like an adult. There's a human, one of them, I think, wandering around Tartarus. Please carry out a search and rescue. Goodbye now. I'm curious if, if uh, that person has died yet, to be honest. Meanwhile, in front of Tatsumi Port Island Station. Oh man, this year's going fast. It's already second semester. Next year, I'll be a senior. <laughs> 
girl. She's drawing again. You again. Um, well, uh, I mean, I'm surprised you remember me. Same here. Well, you kind of stand out in that dress. So, what are you drawing? Nothing. Why? Uh, no reason. I was just thinking, must be nice to have something you're really into. It's no big deal. I only draw because I like to. Oh, yeah? Still, I'd like to see it when you're done, okay? Hmm. The girl stares at Jump as he leaves. Greetings. One week remains until the next full moon will appear. As expected, the lost are increasing in number. I did not read that the way I normally do. Just less breath. Kurumara is wagging his tail. Is he bored? scratching himself with his hind leg. Huh? Does Koro-chan have some fleas? Kuka came in. Fleas? Karmari seems a little displeased. Oh, I know. I bought something the other day. Wait right here. Kuka came back carrying something. Here, it's a doggy brush. Kuro-chan, would you like us to brush your fur? Kuromaru seems happy. He decided to brush Kuromaru with the gun. Does that feel good? Kuromaru seems content. Kuro-chan seems happy. Kuromaru's fur seems to be a little softer now. He seems happy too. suddenly got up and backed up. Kuro-chan, do you not like your stomach being touched? You spent a peaceful moment with Koromaru. Your room. You sense a familiar presence. Hello. I thought I'd remind you, the next full moon will be in one week. Are you ready? Only a few trials remain, so be careful. I look forward to seeing you again. Paris disappeared. Summer vacation will be over soon. The film festival's almost over.
you noticed? Those people, the lost, they've been increasing. I wish there was something I could do. Her Mara's back in this town. He did what? I don't know. He can't speak dog. Kermara's frolicking at the plane. Kermara picked something up. Tamed mad ball. He decided to go back to the home of Kermara. Meanwhile, in front of Tatsumi Park Island Station. So, we meet again, huh? That's because you keep coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You live around here? Fine, fine. Ignore me. I'm used to it. Uh, hey, wait! Your hand! What's with that cut? You're bleeding! The blood is dripping from her wrist to the ground. What is it with you? Why don't you mind your own business? But you're bleeding for crying out loud. I, I think I got a hanky here. Give me your hand so I can tie this over the wound. Why are you in such a panic? Are you crazy? Anyone would freak out over this. You need to see a doctor. You want me to go with you? Uh, you're weird. Chidori. Huh? That's my name. You asked, right, Junpei? I'm almost done with the picture. I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. Dory left without looking back. Welcome. Soon the moon will be fall again. I think this goes without saying, but please make sure you're prepared. There's a ball at Kormara's feet. Kormara seems happy. It seems he wants you to throw it and play with him. You pick up the ball and throw it. Kormara happily wins a bet. He brought it back in his mouth. Good boy. Kuramara seems happy. He threw the ball a number of times. Oh, is she playing with you, Koro-chan? You're having fun, aren't you? Hey, do you think Koro-chan is still young? I think he's still young. I think so, too. He's really agile. The other day, I asked Aikis too how old Koro-chan is. She said that even Koro-chan doesn't know his own age. That makes sense, though. I doubt Koro-chan has a sense of how many years it's been, or months it's been since he was born. Kuramara's looking at me with glossy eyes. I think the priest, his old owner, knew how old Koro-chan is. There must be a lot of women we can make the pri take the priest's place one day. Koromar is quietly looking at you. When you pat his head, he squints, his eyes happy. Your bond with Koromar has gotten a little strong. Second semester begins today. We overhear a conversation. Good morning. So vacation is over. Yeah, I'm in no mood to be here. I just want to turn around and head back to bed. Yeah, you might come down with that apathy syndrome. Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Although, it come to think of it, it doesn't sound too bad. Maybe I'll try it. <laughs> Are you 
serious? The first bell has come. Quiet down. Summer vacation's over. You're back at school now, so act accordingly. Now, let's review speaking. What do you call the phenomenon if the electrical resistance is zero? Absolute zero. Is your head still on vacation? The superconductive material has zero electrical resistance. As a result, electric current can travel eternally through a superconductive current. So good. Many years ago, I tried to use this, in fact, to confess my love to someone. And my love for you is superconductive. I told them. Sure enough, she liked my enthusiasm, and we started dating. But enthusiasm is even worse. Scientific. I lost interest in her before long. Alright. In the next section, your answer was simple. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. I said I would finish it out. And become a genius. But you know. I think it's more interesting if we do this time. Are you heading home now? Yeah, wanna come? Sorry, I'm busy. I'd love to talk to you, but I have much, so much on my plate. Mitsuru seems very busy with her student council work. He needs some way to get closer to Mitsuru. Hmm. Wow, in that case, I have nothing else I want to do. Um. Thank you.